Hi, my name is Chukwu Merije Okereke, Professor of uh, Global Governance and Public Policy at the University of Bristol. And I'm quite happy to introduce to you uh, this article uh, that's published in RIS, which is titled Degrowth, Green Growth and uh, International Climate Justice for Africa. Now, it, there's a widely shared sentiment that justice is necessary necessary component of global climate governance to ensure that those who have contributed the least to climate change do not bear the disproportionate burden of climate impact or suffer from the measures intended to address climate change. Now, many will accept that Africa should be a major beneficiary of climate justice in global climate governance, given the fact that Africa has contributed so little to climate change and is the hotspot of climate impact. Within that context, therefore, the question I explore in this paper is of the two economic philosophies of degrowth and green growth, which one offers a stronger basis, uh, a better basis for the pursuit of climate justice for Africa in the international climate governance system? My argument is that although green uh, degrowth aligns very strongly with economic uh, justice for Africa, uh, there are still significant areas of tension that make green growth a better option for the pursuit of climate justice. Now, as I said, there are significant areas of alignment between degrowth and climate justice. For example, uh, degrowth scholars identify you know, uh, capitalism as a major cause for environmental degradation, but also of global inequalities, which is a concern for climate justice scholars. Uh, degrowth scholarship also you know, uh, promotes non-materialist values like aesthetic, uh, like uh, democracy, like autonomy, like regional production and consumption. However, uh, when I think of the scale of growth that is required to um, promote well-being in Africa, it seems to me that uh, emphasizing degrowth will not be uh, a good basis for, for growth in Africa and for economic uh, justice in the international climate regime. Now, degrowth scholars will say, well, but you know, growth can occur in the North, degrowth should be focused in the North and growth can occur in Africa. But I think that this overlooks the fact that we have such a global economic system that even the growing in the North will affect economic opportunities and growth in, uh, in Africa. So uh, I think that green growth offers a better basis. There's always already a strong commitment to green growth by a lot of international organizations and system. Green growth is also more practicable and more feasible given the nature of the international economic system we have. Also, I fear that if the North were to, uh, uh, to focus on degrowth as an economic philosophy, they would turn inwards as we saw during the what happened during the COVID era, where you know uh, emphasis became on protecting the well-being uh, of northern uh, people rather than sharing uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, COVID vaccine uh, equitably across nations. We also see that during uh, the as as Russia invaded uh, Ukraine, the North began to promote you know subsidies and gas. Uh, policies which they had already uh, walked away from. So I think that on the basis of the practicality uh, and the huge amount of growth that is required and global globalization international trade, uh, that green growth with its emphasis on green innovation uh, is a better basis for the pursuit of climate justice in uh, Africa. But do read the paper and uh, let me know if you disagree with me or agree and we can have a bit of a conversation. Thank you very much.